Hello guys, how you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 955 of One Piece today and it was really interesting to see that story about uh, Kawamatsu and um, Onimaru and uh, pretty much how it uh, explained um, so much about um, the current situation and even um, like ended up solving uh, um, some of the problems th uh, they had specifically this one about um, like getting the weapons uh, for um, like every single uh, person they got uh, on their side so yeah this was definitely really awesome to see and um, Again, I still hope that uh, the two of them um, eventually uh, see each other because uh, Onimaru, um, like, he saw a Kawamatsu and um, it's like a um, like job uh, done for him, so he, he felt like uh, he accomplished what he had to do uh, and now he's um, going to be on his way. So I don't know what um, he's going to, um, like, actually do, I don't know where he is going, I also still need to understand um, a bit more about uh, how um, his power actually works, because uh, the fox can uh, apparently become uh, a human and then uh, become a fox um, again, so it's uh, it reminds me of um, a Zoan type um, devil fruit, so for now I'm going with that. Um, but yeah, either way, just uh, really excited about um, a lot of things and uh, also especially the that situation with Zoro and how um, Yori was uh, offering to trade um, the sword he once had uh, for um, his father's one, so Odin's sword, which is already quite something. Um, and yeah, we we can see that uh, Zoro is um, also really excited about this. I mean, getting uh, a legendary sword and uh, like um, Odin's sword even, uh, and also apparently the only sword that was able to cut uh, Kaido so far. I mean, it's um, an amazing deal for Zoro, right? And it makes me um, also excited uh, to see which kind of things uh, Zoro would be able to do uh, with that sword. So. Definitely can't wait to to see more of um, uh, this whole situation. So hope you guys are ready and let's start the episode. Hmm. This is what happened before. I was even checking if I opened the wrong episode. Hmm. I also wonder about Ryuma. Like there's something more to it. And this happened. I mean, this was 
a big surprise to see all of those explanations. I was not expecting any of these. I started guessing a bit during the episode, but... Oh, and that's exactly... This is how it ended. This is big. Oh, and not even sword weapon. I mean, they... It wasn't just the only sword dealing damage, it was the only weapon, including a lot more. Hmm... Oh, that makes sense. So she has one, Momonosuke has the other. I've heard that name before. Oh. So wait, Ryuma was the god of plate? Yeah, I hope he does it, I mean... Yeah, that happened. It's <laughs> complicated. Ooh. That's really sweet. And it's a... Uh, it's just amazing how things from so long ago come back now and become extremely relevant. I just love it. Oh, these... Yeah, they're not releasing them. Also still want to know about the hidden message from Yazui. Wait! 
Wait, what's happening? Lord just defeated Hawkins. What happened meanwhile? Oh. All right, the guy who was talking was Apu. There was that moment with Kaido talking with someone, and it was the transponder snail was like Apu. Hmm. Yeah, we saw Kid in that cell. Yep. This definitely explains his situation. Yeah, that's for sure. I still wonder how did all of this happen? I'm it. Is we at help? I'm a bit confused. I mean, it's good to see Law out of danger. I, I want to know how he did everything. He, he was like being punished. He was in a really bad state and suddenly just cut Hawkins to pieces. And where is Drake even? I really hope they explain it eventually. It's like someone helped him. Damn, look at that though. I mean, I feel like he's already becoming quite better. The time is passing so fast. Already five days. Wasn't it six with uh, when they showed Law? Now they show Luffy, it's five. So some days are passing. <laughs> oh my god, I can't get enough of these ones. It was easy to <laughs> recognize. Oh, these! What does that mean?
What could it mean? Well, they figured it out. Man, this like brings back memories. When they were figuring out Luffy's statue, those numbers, I was like also really confused. Everyone was figuring it out and here I was, <laughs> not sure about it. Also nice to see Frankie already on it. <laughs> Fixing the ships. And yeah, not me though. Thank you. Asking. Asking what I want to know. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh! That's crazy! And it's even the place where most of them are! It's, it's Udon, right? So it's, it's pretty much where all of those samurais are! Damn, this is so big! They don't even need to move that much. That's crazy. It's like he, he like he predicted this. Man, it was amazing. They owe a lot to him. Yeah, this one, Dinjiro. They have seven. Hey, there's still two more. I guess it's Momonosuke. And then Dinjiro. That's it, right? Wait. Momonosuke is there already. Oh, I guess it's Yori. I'm, I'm not too sure. I mean, they said seven, and now I'm trying to think about the other two. It's definitely Dinjiro. It's, it's really hard to to figure it out right now. Oh, there's a poo. Who is He's about to arrive here? Damn, more trouble. Ooh. Yeah, that's what we have been seeing. It's the other one, though. Wait, don't tell me it. It just crossed my mind that it like opens. 
does that happen though? Oh. Damn, that's crazy. That system is insane. Man, this guy sounds like a chicken. I just realized he's saying Apu. Who's that one? Is that Godzilla? The numbers of Onigashima. Man, they're really big. It looks like... There's also these, they're like eating together now. Like what happened? There's like so many things that were kind of skipped. I want to understand it better. An alliance. Just like that? Man, this is... <laughs> they suddenly... Okay then, <laughs> man, these two. I don't even know what to say, to be honest. This is just really, really crazy. Like, they, they, they were like, trying to kill each other. There was Kaizo not wanting Big Mom here, he was just like, trying to get rid of her. And suddenly they're like, they're eating together and even forming an alliance to dominate uh, the world. So I guess they're just, uh, they like agreed to join forces until they, they like dominate this world. And after that, they will just go against each other to like, see the, like, who, who becomes the, like, the, the ruler of this world or something. I don't even know how to explain it. But yeah, like, I don't know what's going to happen, but this has been really crazy to watch, that's for sure. Um, and um, there's like more and more problems arriving at this place. So now there's all of these uh, uh, numbers. Apparently that's, that's um, like, I don't know if I should say their name, but pretty much how they are um, like categorized or something. Um, and I feel like they have mentioned them before, but this is the first time uh, I actually see them. So... They're really big, that's for sure, and I'm assuming that they are also incredibly strong. Um, and uh, I'm guessing that uh, they are arriving here at the land of Wano, preparing uh, to go to Onigashima eventually, right? In five uh, uh, days. So it's like uh, everything is coming together and eventually it's going to be time for the Fire Festival and... Uh, I'm pretty sure that things are going to be really, really crazy um, from there on, even though they are already quite crazy at this um, at this point. Um, but yeah, it was, um, again, a really good episode. There was um, a lot of things uh, happening, and some of them I want to be explained um, a bit more, because 
I saw Law, like, pretty much defeating uh, Hawkins, and uh, also Hawkins explaining a bit more about his situation, so it became uh, more understandable why he sided um, with Kaido, so he pretty much had uh, uh, no other choice. Um, and, um, like, I just don't know how Law was able to get out of that situation and, uh, like, literally defeat uh, Hawkins, so... Also thinking about Drake, because he was there as well, and now I didn't see him, so I don't know what happened with him. Um, and there was also this um, mysterious person, I don't know who that is, but it looks like uh, it was someone um, helping Law, so maybe uh, Law was able to do this because of this uh, one person. Um, but yeah, either way, there's a lot of, um, a lot of things that uh, still need to be more clear. Um, and um, I'm also really glad that they finally revealed um, that hidden message from Yasui. So apparently it was about um, the rendezvous point or something. I'm not too sure about how to pronounce that name. Um, but uh, it was pretty much just um, saying that um, it's not going to be at... Um, uh, it was... Um, I don't remember the actual name, like Obu or something? Ozu? Not too sure about the, the name of the, uh, the port, uh, but um, instead of the one they originally uh, planned, uh, it's going to be the one at uh, Udon, right? So that way, it's, uh, it's really good because uh, they have that place under control, so they, they won't um, have any problems with... Uh, like being caught by the others or anything, since uh, like they they are not going uh, um, to that place to uh, to check for um, enemies, um, and um, it also solves the problem of having a lot of people uh, moving inside of this country. So they are like most of them are already at um, at Udon, so pretty much the ones they recruited uh, there, um, and uh, it's going to to make it. Um, like easier to um, to travel to Onigashima. So also wonder about um, I'm not too sure about the I guess I'm at the right place. Need to know where they are right now, the ships. There was something Oh it's at Kuri port. Wait, but Kuri? I'm really sorry about this, but sometimes I'm just really confused about all of the names. So it's the Tokake por uh, port that they are going to, and it's in Udon. So where was... Uh, where was the other one? Which one was the, the, the Kuri one? Missing something? He didn't mention the Kuri port. Maybe it's the same. It's a it's a bit hard to know for sure. I really want to to understand this better, but sometimes it's really hard to figure everything out instantly. Yeah, Kinemon literally said that every port in the land of Wano has a name that sounds the same as an animal, so... Maybe he just mentioned some of them, not the um, Akuri one. Uh, but yeah, either way, I'm pretty sure that this is uh, like good news, of course. I mean, it's going to solve some of their problems, and uh, like spe especially um, not having to deal with uh, the Animal Kingdom pirates and everyone uh, at the Flower Capital. Um, so yeah, this is definitely really really good um and there was also something i wanted to say i'm trying to remember everything um, uh right now um yeah i'm not i'm not too sure like it's again it's really hard to remember 
everything like there's so much that i want to talk about sometimes i just like i start talking about something else and i forget about what i wanted to say before oh it was pretty much the those nine samurais it's like they are nine so there's like a frame here showing some of them there's um raizo there's um okiku there's also um, and I can't remember some of their names. Like the one with the, the red hair. Like I should remember his name. And I feel really bad when I don't remember some of their names. Uh, there's Kinemon, that There's Kawamatsu. Sh Shuten Maru. There's um, Dog uh, Storm. That's seven already. So I guess... Oh, I guess Momonosuke isn't included in that one. I Oh, it's Cat Viper, right? So it's Cat Viper... And Denjiro, right? That's pretty much the, the two who, who, whom we haven't seen so far. So now I'm almost sure that it's um, like this. I was a bit confused, like not knowing uh, who exactly was part of those nine. Um, but yeah, I guess this um, like is a, a bit more cleared up to me right now. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, it always helps uh, when you guys um, like... Help me with this, correct me when I'm wrong and stuff. So yeah, it's uh, again, it's been really interesting to see all of these, and there's already so many, so many details to um, this place that it's uh, it's hard to sometimes memorize everything. So I'm trying my best to um, to try and memorize uh, um, like like most of it, so as much um, as possible. Um, but yeah, just, uh, again, just really can't wait to see what else is going to happen during uh, the next episodes. So, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.